Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the Siemens logo to Simumatic. My name is Mikkel and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video don't forget to like it and write some comments. We will start with the workspace and we are going to click here to load the system called logo tutorials we are gonna search for it and click on the button to load to the workspace once it's loaded we can navigate the workspace zoom a little bit and now we can check what is included in the system we have an electric box and inside it we have the power supply, the logo PLC, a button and a lamp. The logo PLC has 8 inputs and 8 outputs, so it's a bit different of the real one. And it is just, or there are just 3 variables we need to adjust to use it with the real logo PLC. So we, we need to select the IP address, we need to set which is the input address we are going to use to write these 8 inputs and then the output address. There is a limitation in the logo driver that we cannot write in the input memory so we are going to write in the flag or M memory and we are going to write in the fourth byte which is the first which is empty or free and uh, now we can actually check that the inputs are connect how the inputs are connected so we have the first input connected to the button and then we have the first output connected to the light we can now open logo and create a new diagram double click here and give it a name We need to now check the IP address on the logo PLC. In our case, the IP address is 192.168.1.245. Make sure you make sure you set an IP address which is in the same subnet as uh, your PC, and we set the default gateway address as well. Once we do this we can actually start programming the logo PLC. So we are gonna connect the first input. We are gonna select here the flag box. We are gonna change it to the 33rd flag which is the first bit in the fourth byte and we are going to connect it to the first output so we are going to drag and drop the output box and we are going to connect one to each other so we are programming now that when we press the button we are going to switch on the light we can now download the program let's test the communication with the real logo the communication is ok so we can now Process, proceed to download the program, stop the PLC, transfer and run and now we can click here to do the online test so we can see how, what's going on in the logo PLC and now we are up and running so we can activate the gateway in Simomatic and click on play. If everything is ok, we should have it running but we didn't set up the IP address so now we can click here and actually change the IP address to the proper one 1245 and this time when we click on play 
we have it connected. So now we can click on the button and we see how the M33 flag is activated and the output Q1 is activated as well in the Logosoft and the light is switched on. You can, you can keep programming in Logosoft and for that maybe you want to add more buttons. So for example, we can click here in the assembly, add a new component, we can search in the public libraries, go to the electric libraries and search for a push button. And we are going to add a maintain push button. Give it a name. And we can position it here close to the other button. And this one we are going to connect it to the power supply. And now to the second input of the logo. So with that in place, now we could add another flag for connected to the 34 address. And we could add, for example, an A end uh, logic gate and and we can connect both buttons to the logic gate and then to the output. Let's download this. and go online. Now if we click on play, we need to press both buttons at the same time if we want the lamp to switch on. That was all. I hope you enjoyed the video. As you see, it's pretty simple to connect the logo to the Simumatic. It's just a few steps. But if you have any question or you have suggestions for us to create content related to the logo, write us a comment and see you in the next video.